A Surprise for Dingo, written by Rena A. Foti and illustrated by Sandra Kendall. Let's read the blurb. One moon bright night under a star speckled sky at the edge of the great sandy desert, a dingo howled. <coughs> Follow the animals of the great sandy desert as they anxiously hide from the dingo. But what will happen when the dingo and the animals come face to face? Do you know what a dingo is? The name dingo is an indigenous name from the Aboriginal Darug tribe in Sydney. It is the word used to describe Australia's native dog. Use your inferencing skills. Have a look at the pictures at the, on the front and read what's on the back and think about what this story might be about. What do you already know about dingoes? One moon bright night under a star speckled sky at the edge of the great sandy desert. Dingo howled. <coughs> what does the word howled mean? I think I just made the noise, didn't I? It means to cry out and it's usually a word referring to dogs. Can you make a howling noise? What other noises do you think a dingo makes? They might bark, yap, whimper or cry. These are all very good describing words or adjectives. Bilby poked his head out from behind the spinifex or the grass. Uh-oh, he's back, he whispered. I wonder what is going on. Why is he whispering? What is a bilby? A bilby is a small nocturnal, that means it comes out at night, marsupial, an animal that has a pouch that is native to Australia. Its name comes from the Uwalare Aboriginal language of New South Wales and it means a long-nosed rat. The spinifex is the, sp the tall spiky grass that bilbies like to hide in. And why do you think bilby is whispering? Echidna shuffled into her burrow. Quick, hide, she cried. What is an echidna? They are small, spiky mammals or warm-blooded animals with bones, hair or fur that eat ants and lay eggs in burrows. What does the word shuffled mean? Can you shuffle? Why do you think echidna is trying to hide? can see the dingo in the background. I wonder if she's frightened. Ubok Owl flapped into his wooden log. It's almost time, he hooted. Hoo-hoo, hoo-hoo. What is a boobook owl? A small native nocturnal, which means it comes out at night, raptor or bird of prey that gets its name from the Eora Aboriginal tribe from Sydney. Why do you think the owl's habitat or home is inside a tree? I think it's to keep them safe because they're up high out of danger and they can see down with their eyes that can turn right round. Draw a picture of your habitat. Where's your home? Where do you live? Black-footed wallaby hid behind a saltbush shrub. Not long now, she said. What is a black-footed black wallaby? A black-footed wallaby is a small marsupial that looks a bit like a kangaroo. I'm very curious why everyone is hiding from Dingo. Are they frightened of him? Asking questions. Sometimes it's a good idea to ask questions. Why is the wallaby hiding? What is she waiting for? Gecko slid down the sand dune. Eek! He squeaked. Meanwhile, what is a gecko? 
A gecko is a small lizard that makes small squeaking noises. Did you know that it can't blink, so it licks its eyes so they don't dry out? Very interesting information. If you have a look at that bottom picture in the corner, the gecko is running over the hose. They're only very tiny animals, but a lot of people get a fright from them because they blend into the background and they move very quickly. Dingo crept closer and closer. What does it mean that Dingo crept? Can you creep around like a Dingo? Sand python slithered into a desert oak. He shushed. What is a sand python? A sand python is a snake commonly found in Western Australia. Making connections. Have you ever seen or touched a snake? Draw and write about an experience you had with a snake. I have a friend called Aaliyah who has one in her backyard. Freaked me right out when I went to visit her. It's their pet. But I do not like snakes. Some people do. You can hear the Indigenous Dreamtime story about the sand python by visiting the YouTube link at the bottom of the screen. It was now time. What could it be time for? Time to be eaten? Time for a party? Time for school? Time for dinner? Time for a disco? Or time for shopping? What are they all waiting for and why are they all hiding? Can you guess? Warney Devil clambered onto a rock. She waved her spiny tail. What is a thorny devil? A thorny devil is a reptile with thorny spines that help it camouflage. That means to blend into the environment and scare predators. Predators are animals that want to eat it away. Why does the thorny devil wave her tail at Dingo? I think she's trying to get his attention, but why? Is she crazy? Dingo stared at Thorny Devil. Thorny Devil stared at Dingo. Dingo licked his lips. <sniffs> Activating prior knowledge. Have a think about what you know about this. What does it usually mean when you lick your lips? I think it means you're hungry. Thorny Devil looks brave. Have you ever had to be brave about something? Thorny Devil took a deep breath. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <gasps> Why is Thorny Devil counting down from ten? Can you count down from 10? Happy birthday, Dingo! The desert animals sang with glee. Did you guess that it was a surprise party for Dingo's birthday? The first time I read this book, I thought Dingo was going to eat all of the animals. I was wrong. They, all, they are all doing something kind for their friend Dingo. Have you ever surprised someone for their birthday? Or have you had a surprise party of your own? They are pretty fun and it makes you feel really special if that happens to you or if you get to do it for someone else. It's a very kind thing to do. And so it was on that moon bright night under a star speckled sky at the edge of the great sandy desert the animals celebrated a surprise birthday party for their friend in true Outback style. And this is my favourite page in the book. The animals look so happy. I love their costumes. Have you ever dressed up for a special occasion? Of course, Dingo howled and howled. He looks so happy. 
Everybody let me hear your howls. Oh, 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 oh. How do you think Dingo is feeling? Can you tell by looking at the picture? Thanks so much for listening to today's story. Please comment and subscribe if you would like to hear more of my favourite stories. I have loved the support and feedback I have had so far and I look forward to bringing you the next book soon. Thank you to all those friends and family that have been watching me so far. I have loved reading to everybody.